Welcome back to the shop again. This is Randy again. Um, today I'm going to be uh, working on this steady rest. Um, because when I put the steady rest on the, on the lathe, the carriage won't travel past this edge right here. This edge. Um, <clears throat> but first thing I got a letter in the mail and it's from Andre in the UK and he wrote me a very nice little note here and it's from Andre who owns whose channel is uh, Rusty Inventions this channel right there he sent me an email a couple weeks back asking me uh, asking if he could send me a sticker so he did so um, I was kind of flattered by that and uh, <clears throat> I told him I'd stick it up on a sticker board and at uh, um, I was sorry I didn't have any stickers um, to send back to him. Um, it's the first time I ever uh, was requested that I send one back. So I got to work on getting uh, a sticker made up so I can send back. But uh, I'm going to get the back peeled off of this and we'll stick it up on the sticker board. And uh, <clears throat> thanks again, Rusty. back peeled off this here and we'll get rusty up on a sticker board. Put them right at the top here. There you go, Rusty, and uh, thanks a lot for checking out the channel and liking, and now we'll get back to today's job. I got you over to lay here. I got this steady rest of setting up on here, and I'll try to explain what's going on. <clears throat> um... When I try to move the study rest in, it hits the front edge of the carriage right here. The back is fine, but this front edge is overhanging too far. So I have to machine this down. And to do that, I think I'm going to use my um, horizontal mill. I got a small Burke horizontal mill that I bought oh about a year or so ago and went through and took it all apart and cleaned it all up and everything repainted and uh <clears throat> be a perfect job for that because there's really no way to hold this in my other mill <clears throat> this is my small horizontal mill it's a burke number four um it was pretty much a basket case when i got it um it didn't have a drive pulley or anything on it no drive for the uh feed for the table all i had was this um shaft right here and it had a funky little gear reduction motor on it so i made all this these brackets here and bush this bushing and put a bushing in here for the shaft and <clears throat> mounted two v-belt pulleys on it and uh it's got a one horsepower 220 volt motor on it and it's hooked to a vfd 
So the VFD is a 110 volt inlet single phase to a three phase 220 volt out to the motor and it seems to work pretty good um, so let's get this set up on here all right get this set up on here approximately like that there here square this up to the table a little bit here uh, I gotta have a one two three block here should be good. Tighten that down. Okay. Get a cutter here. So, animal cutter. It's a brown sharp number nine taper that fits the spindle. And I'll get the, get a piece of wood, and I'll give that a tap.
Okay. Raise this up here. All right, I think I got this all set up now. And uh, turn this on. Here we go. Kind of amazing how quiet it is. feed in <clears throat> feed in 50 thousandths we'll make another pass
All right, I got you back over at the lathe here now. We'll see how much closer this comes in. Before it would go right to there. Now I can bring the steady rest right to there. So I gained about two inches, roughly thereabouts. Two and a quarter or something like that. I'll see what this measures here. Almost three inches. So <clears throat> that'll come in handy for next time I need a I got a job where I need to use the steady rest and it's got to come in close. So <clears throat> I'll see you back over at the bench. That worked rather well, I think. Gave a nice finish on there. I uh, deburred these edges here a little bit. So <clears throat> well, I hope you enjoyed that. A uh, little bit something different. Modifying a tool. And uh, first time I've actually used the Burke mill since I've... <clears throat> cleaned it all up and repainted and all that stuff so hope everybody's having a good day and we'll see you in the next one see ya bye